even, straight and uniform furrows, all the key ingredients needed to win a ploughing competition. At least that's the advice from veteran ploughing champion Alistair Rutherford, who came second in the vintage class at the Upper Clutha ploughing competitions at Hawea Flat on Saturday. I've, I've just enjoyed ploughing all my life really, um, right from a boy, it's just, it's a very a pleasure to be able to go out and plough a grass paddock or um, get a lot of enjoyment out of it, seeing the ground turned over nice, straight and Tidy. The retired Gore farmer, one of 13 entrants from around Canterbury, Otago and Southland, who ploughed up and down a paddock for three hours, Rutherford using his trusty 1957 Ferguson 35. Oh, well, we're just ploughing as the ploughs were manufactured back in the 50s and the tractors, and just using them the, the way they were. Um, you try to stick them to the uh, ploughs being as original as they were manufactured, and using them that way. And although one spectator was moved to remark watching the ploughing was like watching paint dry, these spectators were a lot more charitable. You learn about ploughing and how it's judged and what makes a good plough. Good plough. What, makes a, what makes a good bit of cloud do? That's what we're interested in. Organisers say the move towards more surface cultivation on farms has turned ploughing into more of a sport. They're hoping to host the World Ploughing Championships in the same Hawea Flat field in 2028, the 75th year of the event. In Hawea Flat, the South Today.